everyone, my name is Milvuyo and welcome to The Expressions. So today we have a guest, a entrepreneur and a hustler. Let's welcome Mr. Makagana. How are you sir? I'm good and how are you? I'm fine. Now tell us, who is Yandisa Makagana? Oh, that question. Uh, yeah, Yandisa Makagana is a young man who um, was born from Willowvale and I came to Cape Town, grew up here, started here. Uh, but besides that, Yan Samakagana is a young entrepreneur, always an entrepreneur, somebody who's passionate about um, business and somebody who always loves to start new things, things that will benefit me as well as the community. Yeah. So what was the main thing that inspired you to start this business? The main thing that inspired me to start my business or my businesses is that I wanted to right and also to be able to one and make a song definitely I want to provide and also to be somebody who's independent right yeah so also with bigger dreams to um, to bring employment at the end of the day I want but I haven't reached that stage yet but it's something that I would love to reach so yeah that was the the drive okay so you have a business, right? Yeah. So what are the challenges as a black township business owner? And how did you overcome those challenges? Yeah, um, the challenges will always be, for me, um, the first challenge was me because I, I, I brought something that is um, um, is different to the community um, because I started having my, my, my clothing line um, of which is, is a Christian base in a way. Um, it's a clothing line that um, come to to bring the awareness to people right so that was the main challenge like oh are they going to accept this kind of style are they going to accept because it's something new that they are not used to but yeah so they did accept so i was i was a challenge to myself you can put it that way okay. yeah also the challenge um is the environment or places or the um the main challenge is not to be able to get in spaces to operate or spaces to run businesses okay. right so that was the most um part that i struggled until the fumana a garage whereby i'm operating um it, it is my aunt's garage so yeah i'm using it here now but i i have like high hopes to get in now that i'm more like bigger so that i can be able to operate freely okay so do you have any financial backing from the government or family or friend or you're doing this out of your pocket yo i would love that government <laughs> government i need the backing from you i will definitely love that but i haven't get any um, um backing up from the government okay. no i'll try to apply um the covid relief fine from nida but there was no there was no um, outcomes from that, right? But ever since I've started, uh, I've, I've, I've boosted myself, I've okay. used out my savings, I've used out the money that I was having. Yeah, so there's no backup from firm or, or, or government. So how do you balance your life from being a business man to your personal life? Like, how do you balance it? I don't know. I don't know how to balance my life. Uh, but what I can say is that um, my my business is my life my life is my business okay. you know so when you see me you 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 become to see my business because the things that i, I do I, I talk about them i share about them to my friends and fam um i leave them you know or at times you'll see me wearing my brand at times so you will say oh this is this is who this is who gags or gaggy is so um yeah i always make sure um that I, I i i balance the two but one of the most important thing that i do i always make sure that i i, I put myself first because in order for me to be able to operate um in a good manner or in a good standard or to be able to think uh, i need to be in good health in in, in in a good condition like mentally um physically spiritually so that i can be able to pop and to deliver um what people want so i always make sure that i invest time to myself um to my mental health through the things that i do i'm an outgoing person and that helps me a lot to be able to um to deal with the challenges or the things that i'm, I'm facing daily now tell me your brand name, Leg. Look at God. 
Yeah, I wanted something that will 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 will, um, will be of attention, something that will will, will caught people's mind, like look at God, and a name that will always um 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 Lishales Monin Zabantu. You will never forget that name because it's a statement um that challenge or that 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 that, that educate or that is a statement that will cut your mind by hey when an Amsika God in whatever that you're going through, you just need to like. So you started your clothing line for 2018, am I right? Yes, I started Okay, 2018. now tell me, that same year, you museum and you became the best volunteer at the museum. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I volunteered here at the at museum mm -hmm. uh, uh, because the museum had a partnership with the organization that I'm within. Oh, okay. So I always avail myself prior and then some time is it or services and all that that is the museum. Then I got an award as the best volunteer mm -hmm. But I'm um, yeah, I'm still part of the museum though. But that same year, so yes. it challenges came up with same same like some of us not really because me Ubali volunteer museum it was not a full time oh, based okay. thing yeah but it was something that I do there and then if there is an activity or an event yeah, but, but I think I was wise because at the end of the day I knew that at some point I would need a museum shamp with just means yeah, but it was my launch happened at the museum yeah, but so that opened doors for me to be able to access and clubby facilities or to get assisted by the museum with just needs yeah, but so yeah yeah I think that helped me I think it was also last year you were one of the nominees at the YPB yeah. so come on Lele, the feeling ube ube corner pana kula top 10 what feeling jab okay ube ya ba di sama corner pa not really, but I was so excited because it was my first award in the business industry or in the entrepreneur industry. So when the YPB um, recognized me that oh, I, I, I'm, I'm a young black, I'm a young entrepreneur, and I was so excited to get that award and it was something that um, gave me hope or it was like a kind of an assurance that yeah, we are so I was so excited to receive that award and I each and every day I cherish that award. Okay. But before Siam, will you please advise the other young upcoming entrepreneur like Mama give up a woman cause I wanna ninja where I give up her business cause Kuba King negativity is tight while so I get cover Yeah to the young entrepreneurs or to the people who want to start something um i always say it all starts within your mind and then you take it to paper but one of the most important thing is to put eggs in whatever thought that you have right so in order for Lona to come to reality, you need to put action. You want to pagama, go and ask, seek for help, research, and then start it. But at the end, entrepreneur is not easy, but you must never ever give up. Thank you. Not from your community, like about Basel, Joburg, or Eastern Cape, like um, I'm available in social media. We use social media these days, so we can go at Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and search Look at God. Then you can DM us there. Yeah. So now we're closing the show. So please also do follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Rollpage Studio. Thank you.